the sovereign union is about bringing people together to share our experiences and look at a, a full way forward as a collective group of people who are fighting for our country, fighting for true land rights, fighting for true justice. And But it's not just justice, it's reparative justice where um, we can restore and reconstruct our lost lives in terms of um, our culture and bringing back our cultural norms and bringing about ownership of our land and getting control of our, our sacred places, our religious places in the modern context. So the sovereign union is about um, unifying people with a common purpose. And the sovereign union is not about Michael Anderson, it's not about me. It's about creating a, a powerful platform where people join together um, to share our common experiences and work together as a collective instead of one person taking it on there is a whole number of people taking it on and um, having a clear understanding of all those rights and so I invite people to participate in this sovereign union this coming November 2016 because it's essential for us to understand where we're at and um, a lot of people are, are sort of, you know, casting off this thing called rec recognize. And of course, what we need to do is understand what recognize does to us and what the white man's trying to do to us. And, and a lot of our people are not fully aware of what they're doing. They've got, they've got to look at and understand the hidden consequences, the hidden agenda of this recognize campaign. And um, we need to um, highlight to the people that as a, one of the flow-on effects of Mabo is just not about land. That's what people need to understand. Mabo is more than land. And so here we want to face to face with people. So it is essential that we all um, get on the same page, as the saying goes. Let's get on the same page so, so that we're moving forward together. The fact is that the Black Power movement in the 70s was effective because whilst we had our own political ideological differences, the fact is that we fought as one on the streets for one purpose, land rights. Now, now instead of splitting our forces, it's totally essential that we come together as different nations under a single banner of our sovereignty has never been ceded, we've never been declared in war, and Mabo rid the British and the Australian concept of the land being terra nullius, that is unoccupied. So now that Mabo's lifted the lid on the truth, it's us that has to take that forward.